we are going to take another look back to the days of yesteryear with the help of uh, Slick and Shiny Tongue and Cheek Productions. This time we're going to look at West Newton, Pennsylvania. And before we look at the pictures one by one, what I want to do is turn this on autopilot just a bit. And while I'm talking, you'll have something to look at. It won't be so boring. Uh, the place that we know today as West Newton was once, when I say once, I'm talking about, well, the late 1700s, say, it was a ferry crossing. It was a place where you could go and there was a guy there or a couple people there that ran a boat across, back and forth across the river, the Yawk, Yawkagany, and get you on your way. It had become that way because it was a, an established trail from Indian times. It had been an Indian trail and then when the uh, white man came from Europe, it became known as the Glade Trail an important passageway and then you got to the river you had to get across somehow and there were uh, people there with boats and take you across it eventually got a bridge built but that's not part of our story today uh, I just wanted to talk about some of the early things that happened one of the people who did have property there was a guy named Isaac Robb, R-O-B-B. -B. And Robb farmed there, I would guess, and the impression is he was also using some of the products of his farm to make some uh, distilled spirits from, probably whiskey. And at the time of the Whiskey Rebellion, 1794, the Federal troops sent out, came through his farm, and knocked down his fences on his farm. And he was furious about all this and never really reconciled himself to it, and never bothered to build his fences back up. He decided he was going to sell his property and go on the rivers trading. And that's what he did. He, in 1796, he had his property marked out in parcels by a surveyor, actually a couple surveyors, and that was the origin of West Newton. And he sold these lots one day to people who would uh, be interested, and he named his town West Newton because he had come from a place in New Jersey called Newton. And then he went on to trading on the rivers, and the town developed uh, slowly, George Dallas Albers, who wrote the first significant history of the uh, county, said that by about 1805 there were maybe 10 or 12 houses there at the place. And they didn't call it West Newton, they called it Robstown. Robstown, after the guy who had sold them the parcels of ground there. And the uh, it didn't really start to, to develop maybe until about 1806. That's according to George Dallas Albert. He said that uh, because of the pickup in trade, people going through and, uh, you know, merchandising things, more people came to sell there. And, uh, you know, it usually does a takeoff point on the river to go out in different places. And in 1807, Isaac Robb was back in town, the guy who had started the town. He, uh, what was going on, there was some bad weather coming in, and he went out to uh, tie down his boat so it wouldn't get blown away during the bad weather, and he fell in the river and drowned. And that was the end of Isaac Robb. But he did name the place and there was, in the 1830s, an attempt to get the place 
established as a legal entity have the place a uh, you know a borough within the uh, township of South Huntington and at that point they began calling it West Newton again because they wanted to give it more or less official standing with the, the name that had been given to it originally and the uh, the activity at that time also managed to get a bridge built. In 1833, there was a bridge built over the Yawk, Yawkagany at West Newton. It was an old covered bridge, a very large three-span covered bridge. And they did petition the court the courts at uh, Greensburg to incorporate their town. But there was a bit of trouble with it. And eventually, it was 1842, they finally got the okay from the court where they did have an official borough of West Newton. And now at this point, we're going to switch over here. And we're going to Look at some pictures, one by one. This is the town. Looking down from the air today, this, this is where the town began, over on the east side of the river. This is the river coming through. And it wasn't until the 1940s that this part became added to the town. This is over in Ross Straver Township. Now this old map from 1857 will give us a picture of how West Newton fits into the rest of the county. This, this is the whole county of Westmoreland. Way over here. This is West Newton right over here on the river. And the next picture you see will be this area right in here. Okay. Now this shows us the river, West Newton, which is in South Huntington. And a little bit of Sewickley Township showing up here in the red. And I put this in because the first actual industrial activity that started in West Newton that really got the place going economically came from over here. This was the paper mill of the Markle family over in Mill Grove. That's a picture of it. It was a steam mill and rather advanced operation. A bit better shot of it. That was General Joseph Markle, the originator of the uh, Markle family and the guy who in 1811 started the paper mill. Now I put this together to maybe simplify things a bit. This is, this is West Newton over here. You can see this over on this side as Ross Draver Township. This is South Huntington Township. and over here is Sewickley Township. This is a scale of miles, which will show us that Mill Grove, where the paper mill was that got moved over to West Newton, was not even two miles away, hardly even a mile and a half away. And in the year 1859, two of the uh, sons of General Joseph Markle established another enterprise over here, a paper mill, and we can see it on this map, which is from 1867. See, it's right beside the river. Here's Main Street. This was the Markle's paper mill as it started out over in West Newton. And maybe we'll pan out here in a minute. 
give you a better look at West Newton, how it developed right along the river. This is Main Street, which we now know as Route 136 coming through. And I think I've said enough for this, and we'll have another one, one or two more on West Newton. And so long for now. Bye.